Hello, hello everyone. Uh, let's well, let me welcome you guys to my second video for the my YouTube channel on uh, the biological portion of the NEET examination, focusing totally on this NEET exam on this NCRT book of eleventh class. Now, so today I would like to start with a very important thing. What is biology? A large number of students are dealing with the biological portion, but I am telling you guys the very secret of it. In general, we say that biology is comprising of two words. The first one is bio, that means the life. And the, there is another word which is called as the logy, which basically means to study. That means biology deals with the study of life. I feel that is an incorrect definition for the biology just because it deals with the other things which are not living. Biology also includes the things which are not living and which are helping in the survival of the living organisms. So, what the standard definition which I come to know while reading the NCRT in the deep sense is that biology is study of life forms. We are studying the life forms is if the life form is dead then also we are studying it it's not necessary that it is living now when we are using the word life that basically means it is living when when you are using the word life forms that basically means it can be living as well as it can be dead then comes the very important point the living processes one of my friend will say uh, yeah, this is not the fact. We are also discussing about the various chemical reactions which are taking place in the human body. Like, uh, there is a very famous cycle which is called as the glycolysis. In the glycolysis process, what happens? There will be breakdown of the glucose molecule into C, uh, your uh, carbon dioxide and the water molecules. And that will, be leading, that will be leading to the formation of some amount of energy in the form of ATP. So, this, this is a chemical reaction and we know that our C6, H12, O6 is not a living molecule but this process is taking place inside the living organisms so we need to study this process also in biological science so that's why we have defined biology as the study of life forms and life processes so before I start let me have a quick uh, review about a very famous scientist Ernest Mayer. Now the Ernest Mayer, he uh, is having a like a, a, a classical fact and the fact is that he died approximately at the age of uh, after completion of 100 years. After the completion of 100 years he died. So that's why I have written over here died at the age of 100 years. So he did a century thing not in the evolutionary biology in the biological sciences but also in all biology and even he is considered as the uh, is as the greatest scientist among the uh, hundredth list of the greatest scientists that means if you are having a list from first 200 till date of scientists who have done a great work in science his name will be of course there then comes he is basically called as this very important fact Darwin of 20th century and I am sorry for this it has to be capital D over here now he is called as Darwin of 20th century just because you must know about this particular famous personality also in this his name is Charles Darwin and Charles Darwin is basically called as your father of evolution Right? He gave the theory of natural selection and Ernest may classified this theory of natural selection into various sub-theories. For so that's why uh, he is considered as the Darwin of 20th century. Now, after having this many great achievements that it, it will be counted in the 100 greatest scientists till date, then he was, just because he... Uh, um, among these scientists just because he is about to uh, he, he got various prizes various prizes uh, which are equivalent to the uh, the Nobel Prize so 
the prize are together called as a triple crown of biology and in the triple crown of the biology we basically have the balzan prize the craft food prize and the final one international prize for biology so if a person is getting these three prizes then he, that is basically sum up together as the triple crown of biology his research areas were basically focusing on the ornithology ornithology basically means what it means the study of birds right taxonomy means what it is a study uh, by which we are identifying classifying and uh, we are doing the nomenclature of a living organism right i am using the three very important words here the first one is identification the next word is your uh, classification and the next word is your nomenclature that means it is a science which is dealing with uh, the new species of living organism their arrangement in the groups right and their naming processes right? so let the next thing is the zoo geography zoo geography matlab means what you are having this zoo zoo means the animals geography is basically the study of the physical forms on the earth geo means earth and graphy basically means the study so we are studying the zoological patterns or the animals patterns on the earth and we are mapping them in the various purposes right so the next thing comes is evolution evolution means what it's a very common word nowadays evolution means uh, there is a transformation of one living organism into another living organism in a long period of time that is basically your evolution then comes the history and philosophy of biology history and philosophy of biology of course no uh, that will be discussing in few minutes what what basically mean by history and the philosophy of biology history basically means what were the things in the earlier times they used to consider something as living and something as non living there was lot of issues and there were lot of mythological processes which were there now let's move on to the unit first uh, class 11th ncert top uh, ncert unit number 1 that is the living world now before starting with this a very important question which comes the question is what is living to define living we must go a bit upwards to two major questions two major questions are what is life the next very important question is what is the purpose of life this purpose of life is basically a philosophical questions right but what is life is a biological question that we will be study in this unit the living world coming to the question what is life what is living now it's a very difficult question to be answered people will say that one which respire is basically considered as living i feel it is not considered as living even the sponge also respires it also takes in the air and gives out the air right if they will say that the growth is the only character by which there will be <coughs> uh, there will be uh, characterization of uh, living organism that will be that will be the character of the living organism but i will say that is oh, that is also not so it is just because we cannot define living organism or a living thing with one single character we need to have a ample number of characters to define it as living or non living if i i give you an example of the growth the growth matlab kya hai you are having suppose you are having a heap heap of sand mitti ka teela and uh, like air is coming or the wind is coming from this particular portion there was no uh, heap of sand over here so this became this much because of the wind and th then this became this much so the growth is taking place over there so that means the sand heap will be considered as living i don't feel so it will be considered as living so to consider something as living there are certain criteria which we will be discussing we will be discussing about the growth right we will differentiate between what is uh, the internal and the external growth we will see the reproduction process 
we will see the consciousness. In this, we will also see the self-consciousness. The human beings are basically considered as self-conscious. That means they know what is happening to them and what is happening around them. But it's a big question mark. What if the other animals also know? Or the question comes, do other animals also know about this? I feel that's a very interesting question to be found out. Then comes the metabolism. This is a very important word. Uh, this word seems to be very simple, but it is very complex. Uh, it basically deals with the uh, total number of reactions which are taking place and taking place in a living organism. The, if there are a lot of chemical reactions which are taking place in a living organism, that will be considered as a metabolism. For simple example, if I'm laughing, that will be considered as a metabolic metabolic reactions. Maybe just because a lot of energy is being used in that. When I'm teaching you guys, a lot of uh, energy is being used up. So, metabolic processes are taking place inside my body. Now, this is basically classified into, like this can be of two types, not classified. This is of two types. The first one is anabolism and the next one is your catabolism. Anabolism means what? It is basically considered as the adding up reactions that means we are adding something and catabolism means we are cutting something that we'll be studying in the later on classes so the example of uh, c6h12o6 is uh, it's breakdown by the process of glycolysis is the catabolism now and when this c6h12 uh, h12o6 is converted into uh, glycogen glycogen is what it is a storage form inside our body. It is what? It is a storage form of carbohydrates inside our body. And in the plant, this is basically your starch. So when we are forming the uh, glycogen from the glucose, that will be your that will be your anabolic reactions. So with this, we'll be discussing in detail about the growth reproduction, consciousness and the metabolism in our next lecture. So, uh, again I am letting you know guys that uh, maybe this video would not have been very much beneficial for you guys. Maybe I am hesitating a bit because it's my first educational video on the YouTube. But what I feel you guys must need to focus on the NCRT. And the way I am using, I am giving you the lectures is that I am having some masteries on the each, each and every word. If I am having the mastery on the each and every word, the neat examination is nothing in the front of me. And if you are having the mastery of the words, that means neat examination is nothing for you guys. So with this, um, I feel I have to sign off for today. And uh, thanks, it will be my great pleasure that uh, you will be commenting on to the videos of mine. You will be viewing my videos. I don't, I, I don't want a large number of videos to be viewed up, but at least uh, some of them I want. Uh, so that at least uh, uh, I can give benefit to the other children. So anyhow, let me sign off. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Have a good day.